<laughs> yo. yo, what's really good, man? We got the Jamaican's tunes blazing because you know who I got with me today, man. How y'all doing, man? What's really good? You know who this is, man. It's your boy, Kevin Nevek, the godson. Taurus Fit! No bull, just buck, baby. We in the car, man. We about to head downtown. I got something special going on with y'all today, man. We got a new series that we just kicking off today. And this is especially for, this is for special subs, man. This right here is going out to you, Teron Graham, Fort Wayne, Indiana. Yes, sir. We doing this for you, man. Yes, sir. But right now, man, we already, you guys already know about my homie. It's my, my partner in crime, my blood brother all day. The dread. The one and only, straight from Jamaica, the rude boy himself, D-Mac. Say what up. Yo, Taros Fit, fire! Yeah. <laughs> Yo, man, we got something special for y'all, man, so stay tuned. Uh, this is not going to be for everybody, all right? And we understand that everybody's not going to like this or whatever. Can't please everybody all the time, but because I have, I have a, there's, there's, there's something about what I'm doing, and it's not just about it's not just about being in the gym and slamming as much weight as you can. All right, this is about mind, body, and soul. And I had a, I have I have had a lot of people reach out to me over the last month and a half since my channel's been up, and because they reached out to me, I'm doing something special for them. So this is not the last of it. We got a special interview coming for y'all today. I wasn't going to tell you, but I can't hold it in. We're going downtown right now to interview a, a former retired Cincinnati Bengal. Straight for y'all. To Ron Graham, this is for you, my friend. Keep a hold to your dream, man. Y'all stay tuned, man. It's the guy's son, Kevin Nevek. Tyrus Fit, no bull, just bump. D-Mac, we doing it big, man. Y'all hold 10. Bye, y'all. What's really good, man? We finally down here, man. We downtown Cincinnati, Ohio. You already know who it is, man. It's the godson, Kevin the Vet. Taurus Fit. No bull, just broke, baby. Welcome to this new edition of Chop It Up. We downtown right now, and this is a special video that we making right now for a very special sub of ours named Teron Graham. Now, again, this may not benefit everybody, but I'm sure it's going to touch somebody, especially Teron. And he reached out to me, and I told you, champ, I got something for you, so here we go. So for all of you who did not, who do not really understand why we're doing this, this is about mind, body, and spirit. It's not just about pushing the weights. If your mind ain't right, your spirit ain't right, it don't matter what you're doing in the gym, you're not going to survive. All right, so I told you, we build it champions around this bitch and that's exactly what we doing man you do what you love and you love what you do to Ryan, this is for you so let me read this to you guys man this came to me about february 28th what's good what's good with you b i'm over here in indiana fort wayne but i know you just started on your youtube thing and on some real shit man you keep it real and that passion you bring every day is what i need to start bringing on the football field with me I lift every day and study film to get better. I'm a freshman in college, and out of every school in the country, I only received an offer from a college smarter, smaller than a high school and ended up transferring out. Just last week, I thought about giving up on the game that I love of football, and I love the grind, and it's a blessing that you do. And it's a blessing that you do your thing on YouTube. Just know you changed my life and my way of thinking to never give up and have passion in whatever I'm doing. Thanks, fam. Rather I play D1 ball or make it to the NFL, just know when I'm out there making plays, you will know why. Stay up. Because of guys like this and subs like you is why we're doing what we're doing right now. So, without much further ado, I want to bring the man himself right here to get interview with you guys and talk to you to give you a little more enlightenment and encouragement so that you can strive for your dreams too. We getting ready to interview a former NFL Bengal right now by the name of Rashad Genty. They used to call him Hard Knocks before ESPN came out with Hard Knocks. We build champions around this bitch. Stay tuned, man. It's coming to you right now. Only on Taurus Fit. No bull, just bulk, baby. Stay tuned. We're about to chop it up.
<laughs> All right, but I'll catch up with you later, man. Matter of fact, I was going to bring up, but I couldn't bring his regular ass down here, man. I'm sorry, dog. You got to get back in shape. Hell yeah. But yeah, listen, man, on a, on, a, on a serious note, man, you know we doing this YouTube thing. Uh, I got this note uh, from this kid, Terod Graham. Uh, he was going through some stuff, man, when I put the YouTube channel together. Uh, it was basically to try to inspire other people, man. And so when I found out that we could actually talk to you and what your background was, I wanted to find out if you would be willing to tell the people who is Rashad Gentry. So I'm going to ask you right now, who is Rashad Gentry, the man that they, that they donned hard knocks? Rashad Gentry, who, who, who am I? Well, I'm 30 years old now, but I was a young fella who grew up out of Miami. I had a dream, you know, I was uh, hard working and staying focused, you know, I achieved my dream, so, uh, to sum it up, that's who I am. Alright, and, and after, after reading, I read up on some of your stuff and me and, me and, me and Drew did some, did some research on you. I need to find out before we go any further, is it? Is, tell me this story about your finger. I, I read, I read the story <laughs> that your finger broke and the bone came out. Yeah, the bone came, the bone came out. out and they had to basically force you to come out of the game. Yeah, we was playing, we was up in Cleveland playing the Browns or whatever, and Joshua Krills was the tournament. So I'm gonna kick off running down or whatever. And uh, I don't know if I made a tackle, but I felt my finger or whatever. So I thought it was dislocated, because I dislocated about three of my fingers, so I know the feeling. So I came back to the sideline and uh I told the doctor, man, I told they see me holding my hands, so I'm like, Doc, I got this little hand on my finger. I was like, just snap it back in place or whatever, whatever. So he uh he took my glove off, because I had gloves on. So he took my gloves off. And like he said, he, he took my glove off. And all I heard was, oh shit. <laughs> so I turned around or whatever, he had my hand covered up with a uh with a towel so I can't see it. I said, what, what? He was like, man, just relax, just relax. I'm like, damn, what? So basically he took me back to the locker room or whatever. He was like, Rashad, I'm about to, I'm about to uh, uncover this towel. But listen to me, man, your bone is not your hand. I was like, for real? <laughs> he was like, yeah, just relax, but I'm calm. You know, I guess it's my adrenaline up or whatever. So he was like, oh, just relax, relax. Yeah. I wanted to see it. Right. Because it didn't hurt. I mean, it hurt it, but it wasn't like that bad or whatever. So, you know, he took the towel off and my bone was out of my freaking finger. Wow. So I'm like, wow, look how white it is. You know what I mean? <laughs> Coming up through high school, through as a child, what was one of the hardest things that you ever had to do? Inside of you that made you say, I'm not gonna give up today. Well, I'm a family man, you know what I mean? So, my family, that's first and foremost, they my motivation, they, they my rock. So, it's kind of, it, it was kind of a situation where I didn't want to let them down, and at the same time, I had a dream of my own. You know what? In the NFL, they say, uh, I don't know what the odds is, but this was always my mind and frame. I think the odds is one out of every 1500 or whatever. But I always thought, what the hell they got to do with me? Right, right. The odds is, that's the odds, you know what I mean? So there was some chance, but what they got to do with me? So basically what I'm saying is, you know, if you got your mind on something that you want to do, can't nothing stop you. Right? At the same time, you got to put that work in. You're going to need some luck on your side, but if you work your ass off, work your tail off, day in and day out, knowing that it's a goal that you got, that you want to accomplish in life, it don't matter what it is, whether you want to be an auto mechanic, a truck driver, an NFL player, it don't matter what it don't matter what it is. Right. You gonna achieve it if you know that you're gonna give it your all and you and you it's no regrets. So that's kind of what that, that, that was my mind and frame man, you know, with the with, with uh, grace of God it worked out for me. Signing day. Yeah. When you got that phone call, right. you know what I'm saying? Run us down right quick. How did you feel when they said 
said, Rashad, we want you, bro. It was a dream come true. I didn't believe it, cause just cause, you know, the odds and what the people say, you know, we can't do it and, and things of that nature, like, but me just knowing, like, I, I put too much work in, like, right. the hell with y'all, like, right. y'all ain't with me when I'm up three in the morning in my room jump rope right. and doing push-ups. Right. They don't see that, but like I said, man, when you, when you know that you got a goal that you want to, that you want to accomplish, it ain't going to be many people behind you. But for my man, Teron, what can you give Teron, what can you tell Teron directly right now to try to keep him motivated, because right now he's going through his little transition in college and whatnot. Like I said, man, if you got a goal, man, it don't matter what you want to do. As long as you put that work in, brother, you got to put that work in, man. You got to be hungry. I'm talking about hungry, and I'm, I'm dead serious, man. When you, when you when you think about, I don't know where you're from, Tehran, but whatever your motivation is, bro, you got to be hungry, man. Hungry. And it going to happen for you. That's pretty much it. Good deal, man. Hey. I appreciate you, dude. Thank you for doing this. Hook up anybody else other than Teron, T. Graham. I told you we was going to reach out for you, and we went as far as we could right here. We went to the top. We got a pro for you, man. Hopefully this can inspire you and inspire somebody else. I appreciate it, dude. Oh, hey, man, thank you all for checking in. This is the first series to chop it up. There's many more to come. This is your boy right here, Rashad Gentry. You already know who this is. This is Kevin DeVec. Taurus Fick. No bull, just bunk, baby. Zip him up. And we yell. Yeah, I'm about to go catch up. <laughs> Yo, family, what's really good, man? Hey, uh, just real quick input. I apologize to any one of you guys that are out there that didn't act, that could not really hear it. Uh, this weather's really crazy around here, but this is the only time that we could get a hold of him. And if you if you have any idea about a celebrity status, man, these guys have a very tight schedule. And uh, it was hard enough for us to get a hold of him just to get the time in to get this interview off the ground. We've been working on this for about for several weeks. So I apologize again about the noise if you cannot hear it. Uh, but we're going to do it again. But, you know, we just wanted y'all to know uh, this is what we think of y'all, man. We, we, we really want to reach out to touch somebody's life. It's all about changing, transforming somebody's life. You know what I'm saying? We, we taking that whole aspect to the next level. That's what we're about. We ain't about just eating food and getting big and cutting up and getting ripped in the gym. You know what I'm saying? We gotta get your we gotta get your we gotta get your life ripped. We gotta get your 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 enthusiasm bulked up. We gotta get your spirit on point. You know what I'm saying? So so this really hopefully Teron, you got to hear this man. This was from the heart. And we we got a we got a plethora of guys that we getting lined up to talk to you guys, man. So again man, I appreciate y'all checking in. Thank you so much. Uh, again, I'm sorry for the quality, but this is what we do, man. This is what T-Fit is about. This is what Taurus Fit is all about. So, yeah. yo, we thank y'all anyway, man. So, yeah. God bless you. If you enjoy the video, like the video. If you don't, you know, hit the, hit the, hit the dislike button if you like. You know, whatever. God bless you, man. But we doing this for y'all. Y'all know we real niggas around here. And we keep it 100 all day. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, that's what it is, man. So, yo, signing out one more time, man. It's the guy, son, Kevin Nevek, Taurus Fit. No bull, just bulk, baby. We zipping them up. Building champions round this. Ain't we building champions, bro? Pure champions, Pure champions. Pure champions. Fire! Fire! <laughs> Yo, yeah.